Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to duplicate pre-compose layer properly, so that you can reuse it as much you want. So, open After Effects. Here we have a simple animation on our logo. Keyframes are applied on pre-compose layer itself, so if we want to change logo, the same animation will apply on it easily. Let's quickly create a duplicate of this pre-compose layer by clicking Ctrl plus D, it will duplicate layer. But here, this both layer holds same properties, if we change something on duplicate layer, it will also reflect an original layer too. So this method will not work. Let's delete it. Now, let's try to duplicate this pre-compose inside project panel. It will create a duplicate pre-compose. Here, if we hide logo in this pre-compose layer, it will not reflect same in other pre-compose layer, but it will not hold any keyframes or animation which we have created on original layer. It will be completely different pre-compose layer with no keyframes. So, to reuse the pre-compose layer, just do the simple steps. First we'll close this project. Now click on File, go to Import, and select your file. Let's rename this to Logo1. Now, import same file again. and rename its name to Logo2. Now create a new composition. Now explore this, and drag this composition one layer from both folders. So if we double click on this, and check our pre-compose layers, you can see, we have all properties and keyframes on both pre-compose layer. Let's just hide background from both layer. And I'll place this composition parallel. So we can see changes on this pre-composition easily. So import new logo. And let's see if this trick works. Go to File, Import, and select New Logo. Now choose any of this layer, and drag this new logo. Awesome! As you can see, both logo are different with same animation of this pre-composed layers. So here changes are applied properly. In this way you can reuse your pre-compose layer as much you want, as to avoid long process on creating same pre-compose layer with same animation. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, and subscribe for more new contents every week. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.